So it's finally here. We have been waiting for a while for Airtable to release a new field type called Last Modified Time. Now this has been rumored for months and months and people have been requesting it on the forums for quite some time and it is finally here. Just this week, Airtable released its latest changes which include the Last Modified Time which is a brand new field type that allows you to see when changes were last made to your data. So if that's of interest to you, you are in the right place. Stick around and let's get to it. Hi, my name is Gareth Pronovost and I'm the owner of Gap Consulting where we help businesses get organized and automated using Airtable and Zapier and saving a ton of time. In this video, as I said, we are gonna be going into detail on this brand new field type, which is the last modified time. This is something we've been waiting for for quite a while. So without further ado, let's just jump into my screen and I'll go over the different uses that you might have for this kind of a field. So as you see here, I've got a pretty simple database setup. Uh, we're just really looking at two tables. I've got contacts and I've got invoices. And so we're connecting contacts and we've got some standard contact info, email, phone number, website. Uh, and then we link that to invoices and we store you know, some very basic information on the invoice invoice number, the date of the invoice, a subtotal, a tax percent, very standard CRM use example here. All right, so inside of that, of course, we're linking an invoice to a contact, and that's really what we're tracking. So this last modified time is this field over here to the far right. And what you see when you go in to customize this field type is you've got two major options before you. You can elect to look at all of the editable fields, that is all fields that can actually have data written to them uh, and they're not dependent fields. So quick pause here. We've got independent and dependent field types in Airtable. Independent fields are those things that we can write data to. Specifically a number field, a percentage field, a single line text, those types of fields. The other type of fields are dependent fields and a dependent field is or rather it relies on other information in order to have its value. So a formula field, for example, or in this case, you see I've got a roll up field here, the total invoice, which is summing all of the totals from the invoice link. And so these are dependent field types. So you, if you'll notice again, we go to the last modified time, it's talking about those independent field types, all independent or editable fields. These are the places that we can actually change uh, the data there directly as opposed to having to change it in some other place and have the change reflected in the um, uh, process or structure of the database. So I hope that makes sense. So that's the first major thing of note. So we're looking at all those editable fields or we have the choice of moving it to specific fields. So if we look at specific fields, what we'll see again is a list of the different um, fields that we have in our table that can be edited. That is, again, those independent field types. So if, if you look here, you'll see that total invoiced is not showing up in the list because it's a dependent field, right? It depends on the invoice links that we've established. All right, so effectively what that means, you know, again, just a quick rewind from a high level, if we're changing the total on an invoice, then it's not going to be reflected in the last modified time on the contact level. It would be reflected on the invoice level if we brought this field into the invoice. So I can, for example, here just say, I wanna know the last time that email addresses were last changed. And if I go with that and I save, then of course this last modified time is gonna show me when those email addresses were last changed. And you'll see that it got rid of the date times that were there previously. And so if I were to come in now and change one of these uh, email addresses, let's say it was uh, .org instead, as soon as I make that change, that last modified time is getting recorded at the email level. Of course, if I were to change, let's say one of these phone numbers to 2500, that is not going to be showing up in my last modified time because right now I've, I've changed that to only look at the email. That's pretty straightforward, I think. Of course, if I were to switch that back to the all editable fields, what do we see? 
that it's, of course, going back to the data that it had there previously, with the exception of the places that we just changed data. That is, here for this, we just changed the email, and then here we just changed the phone number. So you can see that this, even though it might not be displaying that time, it still is able to calculate that in some you know, meta data kind of way. It still knows when those changes were, and so you can always go back and find that information. So pretty valuable tool here, and of course there are a lot of different use cases for this, but the most popular being that you can track when changes are directly made to your various data points. And of course, in the near future, we'll also be releasing a video showing how you can use this uh, in conjunction with some Zapier automation to update some things based on when changes are made in your database. All right, as always, I hope you found that to be super helpful. If you did and you have some business questions that you'd like to run by us, definitely swing by our website. The link will be in the description and we offer up time so that we can hop on a call with you. You can book directly there and we can set something up that works for both of us. What we'll be discussing is building a solution for you that puts all of your data in one place and gives you a nice concise dashboard so that you know what's happening in your business at all times. Additionally, we will work on building custom bespoke automation for you so that you can eliminate the time that you spend on repetitive tasks and save countless hours every week. So if that's of interest, definitely swing by our website and check out the different offers that we have there.